What's going on everybody? My name is CD and today we're talking about the final launcher to get gold in this Road to Damascus series and that is the RPG. So I have to say that the RPG is probably the most fun launcher to use uh, when getting kills, not so much shooting things down. So if you guys have played previous Call of Duties, you know that the RPG is an unguided missile, I guess you could say. So you shoot it and that thing is going wherever it really wants in the direction you aim towards. In this game, I would have to say that it flies a little straighter than I remember. Um, but still trying to shoot anything like a UAV or something far away is next to impossible. So before in my previous video with the Strela, I said that it is possible to shoot down a UAV and I had a little clip of me doing it, but it is difficult and you kind of have to learn. With the RPG, I'm going to say that it's next to impossible to shoot down the UAVs, which makes this a little bit tougher to get gold. Now the kills. So we're looking at the camos here, spray paint, 125 kills. Woodland, we're looking at attacker medals, and digital, we're looking at defender medals. These ones come very, very quickly and very easily if you're playing on the small maps. So I've had this tip kind of throughout all these launcher videos. You want to play Shoot House, you want to play Shipment, you want to play Rust now that that's in the game. And that's just really going to give you the best opportunity to get your launcher kills. Now, one other thing that I've mentioned in previous videos is what exactly an attacker medal is. An example that I've used is a domination game. So an attacker would be someone else on the enemy team taking an objective and you kill them off of that objective. That'll earn you an attacker medal. And then on the flip side of things for the digital camo, you need defender medals. And what that is, is your team has a flag. You're on that flag and you're killing enemies off of it. That'll earn you a defender medal. So moving on here to the shooting things down, shooting kill streaks, camos. So we have dragon, splinter, topo, tiger, stripes, and skulls. Those all have to do with shooting other things down. And in the other videos, kind of the easy tip was just shoot UAVs. Everyone has UAVs. You can shoot them down pretty simply, but now obviously we can't do that with the RPG. So that makes this gun a little bit tougher and you have to get a little bit lucky in the enemies that you're facing. Hopefully they're running personal radars, which are still a little tricky because those things will still move around um, and it's a little bit tough to lead or to make sure that it's not moving to destroy that with the RPG, but it is possible. Counter UAVs are your best friends with the RPGs, but sadly, not a lot of people use counter UAVs. So let's go through them here. Destroy 75 aerial kill streaks. So this one's going to take you a little bit because you can't really like feed this one with UAVs like you could with the others. So here you're looking for VTOLs. A lot of people use VTOLs, so try and shoot them down as quick as possible with the RPG. Personal radars, like I said, counter UAVs. I mean, this is really all you can shoot down with the RPG. Also in the previous videos, my tip was to go into ground war and just sit in the back of the spawn, shoot things down. You can't really do that with the RPG because things are too far away. UAVs are way up in the sky. Personal radars could be way across the map. You're just not going to get lucky enough to shoot those down. So with the RPG, you really just want to play those small maps the whole time. Kills and kill streaks. Moving on to splinter. So this one is a little bit more difficult with some of the other ones, but with the RPG, again, you're looking for counter UAVs, you're looking for personal radars because those will count towards ground-based kill streaks for whatever reason. But then on top of that, wheelsons are pretty easy to shoot with the RPG. It's just two rockets, sentry guns, really whatever kill streak you see somebody get and you can actually hit it with the RPG go for it. That's going to help towards this one. And this is the camo I was actually stuck on for the longest. Moving on to Topo here, destroy 50 equipment, kill streaks, vehicles. This one comes pretty quick. You'll get quite a few of these probably while you're even trying to get the kills because if someone throws down, let's say a ammo box or a claymore or really anything and you shoot the RPG, you're going to blow that up and that's going to count towards this. But also while you're going for your other ones, any kill streaks or vehicles are going to count towards this. So I wouldn't focus on this, focus on some other ones. And this one will kind of just come passively. Up next is Tiger, destroy 50 support kill streaks. So this one, we're kind of narrowing it down now. We're losing Shooting down VTOLs is not going to count for this one. So it really comes down to just counter UAVs, personal radar, sad. So that's why I was saying those are your best friends. When you hear those go up, you need to shoot them down with the RPG as soon as possible. Next up is Stripes, destroy 50 kill streaks. Again, this one's going to be kind of passive because in some of the other camels, you need 75. So 50 of those are going to count for this and you're going to get it. So don't worry about Zebra, Stripes, whatever this one's called. On to Reptile, 50 kills using the Amped Perk not an issue with the RPG. For me, this one was actually pretty fun getting the kills because it's, it's actually pretty good. So throw on the amped perk, it makes you reload a little bit faster and you can get those 50 kills pretty easily. And then onto the final one here, destroy 50 vehicles. So again, this one should come kind of passively. It's only 50. And I think for some reason, also personal radars and counter UAVs are also counting as vehicles for some reason. So I think this one you'll get passively as well. So I guess I can show you guys the class. There's nothing crazy about the class, primary, whatever you want. 
obviously the RPG, we have EOD, Ghost, Amped. If you really want to, that's kind of what I said in the previous videos, put on Cold-Blooded if you want it. I mean, you don't need it, but if you feel safer with it, go for it. I have Ghost on and then I have Amped. Um, in some of the other launchers, I've suggested using Spotter. I don't know if it's gonna be as helpful for you with the RPG because Spotter kind of helps you see things farther away, like UAVs, whatever, and you can't even shoot those down with the RPG. So I don't think this is really helpful. And with Amped, that faster reload speed will help you a lot. Because if you're shooting at a personal radar and you miss, you for sure want to shoot it again because that only takes one rocket. And if somebody steals that from you on your team, you're not going to be very happy. Same thing with shooting down like a VTOL. You want to shoot as many RPGs as you can into it. So the faster reload speed actually really helps. And then lethal, tactical, whatever you want. That's personal preference. So that is it. That is the RPG. That is all gold launchers. So we do actually have platinum launchers. And that'll be in a video coming out here soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Click that like button if you guys are enjoying the road to Damascus. If you guys are enjoying these videos. Some of you guys have not already for more videos on Modern Warfare and whatever the heck is coming out here soon, maybe BR, I don't know. And you know what? Ring the little bell, you know, click the little bell down below if you don't mind. It'll give you notifications on when my videos go live. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys later.